I am 100% at my breaking point with Destiny as a franchise, as a thing, as a game. I'm just completely done with it at this point, and this has to be one of the worst things that I've ever seen in the gaming industry to date. It may not be the absolute worst thing ever, but boy is it up there. But before we get into this sad, sad story, I just want to thank the people that have been checking out my videos, clicking the button, subscribing, you know, all that good stuff. It's really appreciated, and you know, the channel's doing pretty well, so I'm quite happy with it. If you're not yet subscribed, please take a look at the rest of the channel, see if it's something you might be interested in following, and if you are, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it, and you know, it gets channels like mine seen, so it's all good. Also, if you're in the UK and you have some time, please please go check out Pyro Games, they're an online retro game seller here in the UK, but international shipping is available. And if you decide to buy anything there, I've got a discount code for you. Just type in consoles only, all one word, all caps, at the checkout to receive 10% off your entire order. And quick disclosure, I'm not sponsored by them at all. I receive no money, I receive no free games, I receive absolutely nothing for doing this. The person that runs it is a friend of mine, and I've bought stuff from there. It's just a cool place, and it'd be cool if you went to check it out as well. So if you're interested, the link will be in the description down below. Okay, so let's get on to this stupid, stupid Destiny thing. Um, Bungie recently revealed the new transmog system. And for those that don't know what transmog is, it's essentially just taking a piece of gear that you have in the game and making it look like another piece of gear while still retaining the stats on the original piece. So yeah, just making a piece of gear look like something else. That's all it is. Pretty simple. It's in loads and loads of RPGs and it, you know, it's just a common thing. But of course, Bungie being Bungie, decided that they were going to monetize this and do literally, I mean, it has to be the worst transmog system I've ever seen. There may be some worse ones out there somewhere, but this is personally the worst one I've ever heard of. So a quick recap of the system would be essentially you need to obtain synth strand by killing enemies, which when you've got 150 of that, you spend it on a bounty that will then give you synth cord. You then take this synth cord to the loom at the tower, and then you turn it into synth weave, which then you use to unlock certain armor appearances and turn them into essentially universal armor ornaments that go onto your gear and change their appearance. And this just in itself is ridiculous and overblown, needlessly complicated, and out of the four steps that it requires you to take, I think it's four steps too many, quite frankly. And of course, you can pay real money to buy silver, which is Destiny's um, premium currency, to bypass this grind, which is obviously what Bungie wants you to do, and, you know, blatantly wants you to do. And not only that, it's actually been capped at 10 pieces per season, except for the first season, where they're graciously allowing you to do 20 pieces. The Forbes article that I cited last time I made a video about this, which was written by Paul Tassi, explained how if you're limited to 10 pieces per season, it would actually take you about 12.5 years, that's right, years, to unlock all current armor transmog options. And obviously that's not taking into account any new ones that they add down the road and they're always adding new ones. But if you decide to bypass those years of grinding and just, you know, pay your way into the system, it would cost you around $3,000 or around, I think, £2,100, £2,100 in real world money. He did mention in the article though that if you just bought large bundles of silver, again, Destiny's premium currency, it would discount it a bit, but it's not really any less insulting if you ask me just to get a little bit of a discount on a ridiculous system. And if you want to look at this article, it will be in the description below if you want to go read it for yourself. There was also some changes to shaders, which is how you change the colors and textures of your armor in the game, which are also pretty stupid and ridiculous. But that's not really what this video is about. Again, if you want to read all that, you can go see it in uh, the Forbes article. So we won't really need to go over that. But anyway, it all sounds pretty bad, pretty doom and gloom, pretty awful, pretty scummy. And, you know, again, Bungie being Bungie means it's actually worse than anyone first realized, because of course it is. So everyone initially thought that the first material you need for this system, you know, the uh, synth strand, was obtained via killing enemies. And it is, which is what Bungie said in their original post. It literally says, obtain synth strand by defeating enemies. So that seemed pretty normal, right? But what they don't tell you is that there's actually a time gate on those drops. So, okay, right, let me explain. You need 150 synth strand to kind of start the transmog process. 
Well, initially it seemed like each kill would grant you one of those strands. So you needed basically 150 kills to get 150 synth strand, which seemed pretty simple and everyone assumed that's how you did it. No, that's not the case. They, uh, they <laughs> I'm stumbling over my words because of how ridiculous this is. They've actually time gated it so that the enemies will only drop one strand every two minutes, no matter how many kills you get within those two minutes. How fucking ridiculous is that? So like you could get 100 kills in two minutes and you get one strand, one. It's, it's just insanity. And all this info was posted on Reddit. And again, I'll have a link to that in the description if you want to go read it in detail. But man, it's got to be one of the most scummy things I've ever seen in this industry. And this industry has got some shitty business practices, like seriously manipulative, scummy practices. And this just has to be up there with some of the worst I've ever seen. I just cannot fathom in, you know, in my simple, simple little brain, I just can't figure out why they would implement a system like this that they must know was going to be hated by everybody. You know, they constantly, and, I, and again, I've said this before, they constantly say, we're listening to the community. We know what you're saying. We hear you. And then they bring this to us and you just think, who, who the hell are you listening to then? Because it wasn't us. None of us wanted this crappy system it just boggles the mind it really really does and you know to just further drive the point home it was also said on this reddit post that to reach the 10 piece transmog cap for each character it would actually take 53 hours roughly of in-game time to reach the 10 piece cap per character so you know obviously if you're using all three classes then you got to triple that so you're looking at what 160 hours of play just to get 10 pieces transmogged for each class it's just insanity because again it doesn't count if you're in orbit or in the tower you know like a social space it's not going to count any of that because you need to be actively getting kills every two minutes so if you really really maximize your time and you know make sure you're in combat every two minutes then you know it's about 53 hours but if you're someone who's playing it casually waiting in loading screens and all this kind of stuff that time's going to go up a bit 53 hours is like best case scenario time and you know I'd, companies have to make money otherwise we don't have the games to play in the first place i'm not stupid like i understand how companies work and how business works but this this kind of thing just is not acceptable and it's absolutely tone deaf it's one of the most tone deaf things i've ever seen i think well in the world in any industry for for a team like them to do this is just it for me. This is where it ends for me and Destiny. I, I've said it before, I've played Destiny since the beta for Destiny 1, and I'm not someone who raids or really does much PvP, but I've got hardcore amounts of time in this game. I'm not really a hardcore player, I'm just sort of hardcore time investment, you know. There's plenty of times where I've just sat there for a whole day just grinding stuff out, just because I like the gameplay and, you know, I liked some of the stuff that was available. But now, now that they've done this, I'm quitting the game completely just on principle and you know they don't care if one player like me quits i'm i'm no one important and I, they, they don't care if anyone quits quite frankly it's it's just obvious isn't it by the way they trot out this new system and say look at this new transmog thing you've been asking for yeah great but but it's shit so <laughs> Like, we don't want this. This is awful. And the only thing that they could really do is completely walk this back. That's the only thing that would be acceptable at this point. If they go ahead with this, there is not a chance that I'm putting another penny into this game. And there's not a chance that I'm even going to play it. And I, and I said in my last Destiny video, I've got about 1,300 hours in Destiny 2. So I've played it a lot. And I really love, you know, the world and the, the gunplay, the, you know, the actual gameplay itself. And, and the lore as well. The, the lore is really interesting when it's actually used. Because, you know, they have great lore masters who write a lot of this stuff and, and, and write really compelling stories and that. But they just don't really show it to us in the game. A really interesting story beat tends to boil down to shoot this thing in the face. And that's fine. It's a video game. But I'm sure they could do far more being the people that brought us the original Halo games. I'm pretty sure they could have done something more worthwhile. And I can tell you exactly what this system should have been. You know, I'm no game designer, right? But it should have just been a case of, for anyone who plays Destiny, you know when you hover over a piece of your armor and then you can press a button to go into the description and look at all the mods that you've got socketed? There should just be a page there where you can just 
select any other piece of armor, legendary or lower, that you own for it to then look like. It should just be there as an option. I don't understand what their thought process, well, their thought process was probably money, 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 but it should just be a case of you go to the, your, your armor piece and then any other piece of armor that you've ever owned is just available for you to transmog into. Maybe it costs a little bit of glimmer, maybe, or one legendary shard or, or something, just, you know, something like that. The system that they've come up with is just ridiculous. It's garbage. It's again, tone deaf, and I can't figure out what their game plan is here. It seems, if I'm being completely cynical, it just seems like, well, screw you, you'll pay it, and that's that's how it feels. And I most certainly will not be playing it. I am done with the game. I've already uninstalled it. I can't think of anything that would bring me back at this point. I didn't even really want to play Beyond Light, in all honesty. I went back to it after a hiatus from it. I, I think, didn't Beyond Light come out in November last year, 2020, I think? I didn't play it until around March this year, 2021. So I wasn't even into it. You know, I missed a few seasons or a season. Uh, I played in the season of The Chosen, but I didn't. I haven't started this new season because I'm not giving them any more money. I'm just not doing it. It's done. And I really implore you, even if you're someone who's sunk hundreds and hundreds, thousands even of hours into this, think about it. Think about the other games that are out there and just try and cold turkey it. You know, just move away from it, please, because this just shows how much they care and that is not a lot at all there's not much more to say that hasn't already been said and frankly i'm just sick of talking about destiny at this point so from here on out unless they do something more ridiculous or they go back on this transmog system then there probably won't be any more destiny related videos but are you someone that plays destiny still how do you feel about this system? Have you engaged with it? Will you engage with it? Or are you done like I am? Anything you want to say, just let me know down in the comments below. If you liked the video, remember to give thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. All that good stuff. Check out Pyro Games if it sounds interesting to you. And with all that said, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.